Okay, welcome to another Fix It Friday. So I'm a bit later today, but uh, just had a few things going on, which were all, all good. Anyway, um, I know I've talked about this subject before, and I know that you're going to be, oh, Matt, you keep banging on about this. But I want to teach you something today, uh, just going back to the swing again, um, the importance of the hands, okay, and the feelings that you need to have in the hands, okay, and what the hands actually need to do. And I just want to give you a couple of, drills and there's a couple of things that uh, you know I've learned through um, Mike Malaska um, even um, talking to him last night as well about uh, you know the hands controlling the face you know and the, the, the face are the, uh, the the hands sorry are the face and if you can teach any golfer I got asked a question um, a week or so ago by somebody who's what does it take to become you know a single figured player and my response back to that was really you've you got to be good at everything not fantastic you don't have to be amazing you don't have to be a you know a 300 yard bomber of a driver despite popular belief if you can hit it 200 to 250 yards you're going to be able to play to single figures um, it's about having control is my answer of this thing if you can control the club face uh, be it with a driver putter wedge whatever you're going to be able to play great golf all right um and, and it's really important that it's a skill that you need to learn. But so many professionals, I'm not poo and you can play this way, but so many professionals spend most of their times and careers telling you to take the hands out of the golf swing and not to use the hands. Whereas, you know, Baker's coming along and Mike Malaska is telling you, yeah, it's actually okay to do that. And this is, this is where the game used to be many, many years ago. Um, but then we came through the, the sort of the, 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 the 80s, the 90s and 2000s of you know trying to take it out and become more rotational with the bodies and nobody's really improved that much drast drastically, uh, especially the amateur game. So I want to just show you a couple of things that I think will really help you hopefully to understand how the hands and, and the role of the hands and the arms um, and, and a feeling that you want to get. And the thing that we advocate uh, at Malaska Golf is the tour uh, is the throw release or the tour release all right how to release the club so i'm just going to give you a little exercise that will help you to to achieve that through the swing okay because so it's more of a throw in motion as opposed to a rolling motion which is what we were taught you know not that long ago really that you, you've got to get the toe of the club to point up on the back swing and the toe of the arm, the club to point up on the follow through um well this is causing forearm rotation as you swing through the modern player now you know you, you Dustin Johnson's Brooke Kepsers and and these young guys they're all taking that out of this of the swing this is why they can hit it so far because they can hit it harder but they hit it straight <laughs> it's pretty rare you know they're, they're not way offline like you know the the wild players used to be so club face is is king to the golf ball okay it's going to give up most of the direction I know people will say that you know the the direction you know the ball the club face sends it and the path bends it as it is the old saying but the club face does have a massive influence on on the on the direction of the ball okay um yes path does give it the spin rates and, and to make it spin off to the to the side but the club face really has a massive influence on um the axis of the ball spinning off as well if you have an open club face that's going to change the axis and so on same as lie angle as well does on a club so, but being able to control this thing is so, so important, all right? And it's being able to control these things, that is key, all right? So I'm giving you permission here to, to go and train this. And if you can't do this, uh, and I'm only gonna ask you to do sort of little half swings, I'm not asking you to go full out with your driver straight away, but you need to be able to learn what these hands do. And the best way to learn it, I'll try and get in shot here, is to try and take hold of the club Okay, I've got. It doesn't matter what club you use here, but I'm gonna. I'm right-handed, obviously. I'm gonna put the club into my palm, okay, like so. And the palm of my hand represents the club face. So wherever my palm points is where the club face is gonna point. And you can just grip the club like so. It doesn't matter where you put it, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna put it in my hand like so. And if I, if I have my palm face to the right of the target, well, the club face is gonna aim to the right. So if I want the ball to go to the right point my hand to the right. If I want it to go to the left, point my hand to the left. If I want it to go straight, point my hand to the target. If I want the ball to go lower, what would I do? I would take loft off. 
okay so it's taken the loft off down to zero and minus there and i did that by adding more wrist flex if i want to add loft on well i can bend the wrist more here and suddenly i've added the more loft to the club all right so i can control that and i can control my hand with right hand uh, right hand bend left hand i can go lower low to the right low to the left i can go high high to the right high to the left i can hit straight shot okay it really depends all right so it's really learning how you control the club with your palm and that's really key all right and that's my right hand we also say what about the left hand well when you do the left hand in your practice and i'm urging you to practice doing this but if i put my left hand i'm going to put it on because my left hand is not going to match the face my left hand is in a strong position okay my thumb is more on the side of the, the shaft or the hosel and i'm holding right down here at the base at the top of the the neck here all right but i can practice the same thing all right so it's in my fingers and i can practice going i'm going to go left right low high okay i can angle this with my hands and then i can double this up if i wanted to i can put my right hand on and my left hand and i can then practice how does this feel with my hands well left right um straight i can go low which means both wrists are hinging okay and then i can go high right and i can play with this and i can get a feeling for what my hand should be doing and when you're doing this oops when i'm doing this you can then practice this with the golf swing okay so you can take hold of the grip as you would do with your good grip and then you can practice this you can just get a feeling okay i want this one to go to the left well what have i got to do to feel that well remember my my hands represent the club face so if i want it to go to the left i'm going to create that feeling you can see how the club then turns to the left hand side so what i'm going to do here i can chip it if i want to to start off with you don't have to go for the full swing nothing in the rule book says you can and do it slowly so i'm going to try as i swing down to hit the ball i'm going to point my hands on my right hand i do it with my right hand some people like doing it with their their left hand it's really up to you whichever one's fine they're both fine you can do whichever one or both okay but i'm going to just go back left okay now that would have gone left all right i could feel my hand roll over as i do that all right i can go just again just a little chip shot again get my grip i can go to the right okay so how do i feel i feel like my palm is facing out to the right hand side so back and to the right okay it's gone over to the right hand side of the net so you get the picture and you get the idea the one that everybody wants to try and do is is take off and dynamic loft okay sorry my watch dug into me then well i'm going to get a feeling of my right my right left hand staying more hinged this way and my right hand's going to stay more back on itself as well so that's the feeling i'm going to get and i'm going to keep that angle through the shot okay and that's going to de-loft the club face for me okay and gives me that shaft lane all right let's see if you want to hit a low punch so back and through okay and that hits that that low shot for me uh, on the ball it'll hit quite low down here so what we're trying to educate you here is that you've got to learn to use your hands okay and don't listen to you know advice if it's not working for you if it works for you then carry on you know that's that's fine but i can promise you if you can learn to educate your hands through the golf swing and be able to hit it i'm going to hit one straight here now i'm going to feel what that's like keep my palm looking at the target so if you can educate what the hands do okay you actually can then train to hit the ball and have total control of it and that's really what you're after and you can actually band this right up to the driver as well if you can do this with a driver you have just reached nirvana and you're going to be one of the best players at your club <laughs> all right um i know the the talk and the buzz at the moment is going for you know distance 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 it's all about speed training and so on but do the long hitters win week in week out probably not uh, yeah they have a good chance and the whole premise of being long is that you, you're going to hit it further down there so you've got less club in so you've got more chance of controlling it but i would still rather be on the fairway i think the Ryder cup showed that really didn't they you know it was really key that you had to be on the fairway because if you was off you were you were you were done you know you, you were just chipping out 
So you, the longer hitters, and this is what really sort of threw it for the the Americans to a certain degree, because you know the the the, the Europeans, if you notice, a lot of them had that that tailor made uh, burner driver, you know, the little the mini driver, uh, because they had they could still get the distance out of it, but they were able to control it better. But they were able to control the face a lot better, and the tour players can, you know, <clears throat> they they have. They've already reached that supreme level of being able to control the club face. Um, I was watching a video with Billy Horshall in it. And there was a position when he was under the trees, he had to hit it round to the left-hand side, and it was all feel. It wasn't down to anything, there was no mechanics, he wasn't trying to rotate his body harder or faster or keep it back. It was nothing to do with this. He said, yeah, I'm just going to feel my hands, just work a little bit better through the ball and just turn it over a little bit and keep it down nice and low. It was all feel. Why? Because of every tour player or any great player that you see, they've got educated hands and that's really, really important. All right. So that's really what I want you to go and practice. And I know I've done videos on it before, but I can promise you, if you can reach that state of being able to control the club face with your hands, okay and be able to control the face totally you'll have more control on the ball than you've ever had in your in your in your life all right so it's really really important that you practice that um so yeah that's, that, that's key now we also then talk about what we call the throw release okay and the, the throw release if i can get my right hand to work just back and forth this way okay and get my left hand to work back like a hitchhiking motion if i can get my left hand to hitch this way and my right hand to go this way i'm going to hit the ball straight because what i'm taking out is any of this okay so I'm, I'm taking out any of this motion okay so to time that up through impact a lot of things depend on that then on club on ball position and stuff like that to time that up is a lot harder than timing that up all right so translate that into a golf swing if i put that there and I just hinge my wrist back and forth, okay, in this manner. This isn't a flippy motion. It might feel flippy, but it's not, because you're gonna time in the body as you do this, which will put you in position like so. But if I can do that, which one's better? Which one would you rather have? This motion, where the club face is always constantly pointing to the, on the swing path, or this motion? Okay, well, I know which one I'd rather be playing against, this one because I know I've got more of a chance than the person who plays this way, okay? So it's really important you understand that. Now, the best way I was shown this, and I'm gonna do a video on Instagram on this as well, because it's such a good drill, is I call it the mime drill, right? Where you're gonna feel like you're a mime in a box, all right? Now, if you can do this, okay, with your hands, and you can do that with your hands, and that with your hands, you can do the throw release. All right, and this is something physically impossible that you can't do. If you can do that, that, and that, that is how the hands work through the swing. So on my back swing, my right hand palm will face away from me to the side of the box here. I'm in a glass box here. As I swing down and through, my left hand palm will face away from me as well. And I'll be in this side of the, the glass box that I'm in, <laughs> the mine box. All right, so if I can do that and that, this is gonna maintain the club face squarer for longer and I can hit it harder with my hands in order to create more speed, all right? Um, as soon as you start adding in rotation, then you, you, you've, you've, you've had it, but it's a very common thing to do because we were taught to do it and it, it's natural, all right? So it's something that I continuously work on because I had so many years of working from toe up to toe up, getting the forearms to touch almost getting the club face to roll over and be in this position here uh, yes some people might claim it's a speed producer yes it is but what one percent of your total speed i don't think it really accounts to that much but if i can go from here to here and work on that that motion through the shot here okay you're going to really feel that left hand bend back on itself through through impact all right but it's actually a natural motion more so than than you think so as I swing back, I'm gonna feel right hand palm here, palm here, okay? And the ball will go straight every single time. The only thing I have to worry about then is height. If I release it early, I'm gonna add loft to the club. If I release it late, it's gonna go low, but it's gonna go low straight or high straight, okay? So it's really important you, you practice that. 
um, and like I say, if you can do, if you can do glass box of emotion, <laughs> I'm in a glass box of emotion, I'm trying to feel this motion. If I can do that, then I can do the throw release. And if you can do that, I really would suggest that you work on trying to train that in your swing. Okay, so right hand palm on the back swing, faces to, directly to the right hand side of me. On the forward swing, left hand palm is facing directly away from me as well. Okay, it feels like you're playing like a lob shot almost. But if you can do that, I promise you, you will hit the ball a lot straighter. So as you swing back, right hand palm, left hand palm. Okay, so I'm just going to swing back and palm. Okay, palm facing that way. I've, I've thrown the club correctly at the right uh, path, and that means that I'm going to keep the club face square for longer. All right. Start off slow, start off slow. You don't have to go as far back as I was doing. You can start off here. It's only because I've been doing it a bit longer. But I really promise you, and again, it's the same with whether you do wedges, driver, uh, even putter to a certain degree with the right hand still working this way. Um, but yeah, it goes down through all the clubs. Okay, it's the same motion, same hand action. Um, as you, as you swing the club, especially the right hand or your dominant hand, but some people like to feel it with the left hand. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. All right. Anyway, I've offered on a bit. Hopefully that's okay. It's please let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions on that, please comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer you and, and try and give you a bit of feedback. All right. Anyway, have a great week and I'll catch you next week. <laughs>